The Russians continue shelling Ukrainian cities. Yesterday, the missiles fell on Kharkiv, Slavyansk, and Kramatorsk. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that these barbaric attacks only mobilized the Ukrainian people to continue fighting. Today, the Russian army again fired rocket artillery at the Saltivka district in Kharkiv, hitting only civilian objects, residential building, commercial pavilions, and public transportation. At least three people are known to have been killed so far. The list of wounded includes more than 20 people. The Occupiers also shelled the Slavyansk municipality in the Donbass and struck Kramatorsk with Iskanders. Each of these strikes only intensifies our desire to defeat the occupiers. It will happen eventually. Ukrainian soldiers, despite numerous obstacles and difficulties, do not lose their spirit. It is frightening to all of us, but we must do our duty not to give the enemy any opportunity to occupy our lands and that we all return home alive and well. That is all. If not us, who? Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov thanked Poland for its support in the fight against the Russian occupier. For our freedom and yours, Warsaw, Wrocław, today in Poznań, with the support of our friend Michał Dworczyk, the third Polish city hosts the exhibition of Russian equipment destroyed by American weapons, a proof of Russian war crimes and at the same time, a symbol of the strength of the Ukrainian army and people. Meanwhile, today the Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights announced that it has found evidence of Russian war crimes and crimes against humanity. On the basis of its activities, the Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights found credible evidence that the military operations of the Russian Federation during the reporting period were characterized by a general disregard of the basic principles of distinction, proportionality, and security measures provided for by international humanitarian law, which can be equated with war crimes and crimes against humanity. War affects ordinary people first. Civilians often lose all their possessions. Putin, Putin. Putin is one thing, but do the Russians have their own minds or do they have chicken brains? What organ do they think with? How can we live next to such neighbors? How can we live peacefully with such a neighbor? It will take decades for us to heal the wounds they have inflicted on us. Farmers cannot harvest their crops. I am a farmer myself. Seeing my field is painful. But what can you do? People are afraid to go to the fields. In Istanbul, representatives of Ukraine, Russia, Turkey and the United Nations signed an agreement under which Ukrainian grain is to be exported through ports in the Black Sea. Time will tell if this document will save the world from an unprecedented food crisis. And let there be no doubt, this is an agreement for the world. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. Russia did not manage to win this war in a few days, and the siege of Kiev ended in a severe defeat for Russia. Ukrainians are defending themselves bravely thanks to great determination and support from Western countries. Only the solidarity of the free world can stop Moscow's imperial policy.